this next one is a real favorite of mine because speaking of talkers, never given the credit for being an amazing talker is luscious Johnny Valiant. Am I right? Oh, you're absolutely correct. And uh, guy did some stand up comedy. He had, he was a he had a great wit. He was quick, uh, and he used to come up with stuff. And uh, I could listen to interviews that I did with him in 1975 with the Valiant Brothers backstage. And but he was always an amazing, quick witted guy. So it was always a pleasure to talk to him. Old school too. And uh, you know, Very. It, what, one thing I, that I find a little not confusing about this, but it's it's where you met Johnny Valiant, or excuse me, yeah, Johnny Valiant for this clip. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's going to manage. Let's see here, Ivan Koloff. Yes, and he's going to take Albano on David with, San Martino, who's going to be managed by, managed Lou, by Albano. Lou Albano. And I'm scratching my head, going, "What? Where? Who? What year is this? What? Who? Yeah, Maybe it was 80, 89. Yeah." It was a Tommy oh. D show. Oh, that that explains it. Okay, yeah, yeah. They're all and, thrown together. Uh, yeah, they put them all together, and they were just you know going back and forth on the history of Albano and Valiant and San Martino put in the mix and Koloff, of course. So it was kind of uh, an interesting uh, quartet uh, in that match that night. But uh, Johnny V and Captain Lou uh, stole the show. Well, this is a short clip, but Johnny Valiant mm -hmm. de didn't need a lot of time to put his points across. Uh, no. He was a rapid fire orator, as it were. And boy, is this a lot of fun to listen to. Let's go to this right now. Johnny Valiant is a funny guy, and he was on. It's only about a two minute piece, but uh, check this out with luscious Johnny V talking about uh, his protege for the night, Ivan Koloff, who was about to take on David San Martino. John Anthony for the pro wrestling spotlight. And of course, the air of excitement is happening here in Brooklyn. The Universal Wrestling Superstars, their debut show. Koloff is no stranger to anybody in professional wrestling. Unless he's been living in a cave somewhere. The man is a true legend in his own, uh, his own, not his own mind like San Martino, but his man is a true legend even amongst the pro wrestlers themselves. The guy did defeat Bruno San Martino, the somewhat of a small legend in the professional wrestling business, a few years back. And, of course, uh, I think it's so beautiful tonight because he's going to defeat this punk San Martino Jr. Uh, right before his old man. You know, uh, when uh, Mr. and Mrs. San Martino, they never got divorced, the reason being that nobody wanted custody of David San Martino. You know that. That's, that's the pretty reason heavy why. words, John. They are very heavy. In fact, uh, you know, that's going to be very heavy tonight when Ivan Koloff delivers off that top rope, that big... Prussian and Russian knee drop off that top rope across that San Martino's Adam's apple. It's going to be a very interesting thing. And I want to see the look of anguish on San Martino Sr.'s face when the Sun loses one, two, three tonight. Here in Brooklyn. Oh, of, yeah. Of course. Also in the corner of David San Martino is uh, an old acquaintance of yours, a manager of yours, Captain Lou Albano. Now, uh, well, I won't hold that against you by saying that, of course. Now, Lou Albano is a kind, of a, kind of a hemorrhoid, you know, as far as socially. The guy's a half with the minute slob. He hangs around the men's room at LaGuardia Airport, you know, looking for work and stuff. Of course, now, San Martino uh, and uh, Albano, I understand, are somewhat. Uh, very good friends outside the ring, so it's going to be a kind of a triple threat here, if you're going to see it, because I, I would, if, if, if that Albano puts his uh, linguini nose anywhere near that ring, luscious Johnny V is going to box his ears for him. You understand that? How, much, how many points do you get across in a minute 35? Uh, quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, full bang, biff, pow. I mean, he, yeah. he just starts... He's he's like one of those old lawnmowers where you had to crank it, and once it got started, you, it was hard to shut it off after that. Amazing. Yeah, I, I have a I have the the complete interview, obviously uh, in the archive somewhere, and that's uh, when Captain Lou actually joins the fray. Uh, so I have to find that and put that up for the patrons, uh, uh, patreoncom John Arezzi. But that was a great segment, and for me, it was always cool to go backstage. Uh, back then and see these legends and these heroes of mine and then getting a chance to talk to them and interview them and, and let them go and do that, do what they do best. Uh, so that's why this stuff is just gold to me, Bob. It's just gold. I love it. Absolute gold. And I don't want to sound like a commercial, but Patreon, if yeah. you want to hear more things like that, that's the place to go. There's so much there right now. There's so much uh, content there from the seventies on up and always more every Sunday night, we're putting up content where every Sunday the patrons get, uh, they don't know what they're going to get each and every week, except for the podcast early, uh, you know, whatever show that we're reviewing, like this particular show, they'll have the entire show, uh, without, without uh, any interruptions, uh, with the commercials in it, the unedited shows, and they get all these other rare archives. So patreon.com slash John Arisi. He said it folks. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're looking for stuff you won't hear anyplace else, 
and wrestlers coming out of their shells at a time when they didn't really come out of their shells. It was the pro original version of the pro wrestling spotlight. There was nothing else like it at the time. And it's a history lesson every time you tune in. <laughs>